During this lesson, you learn about the SOLIDWORKS interface and the different tools available. To begin, open SOLIDWORKS and pin down the basic menu in the top left. Using these icons, you can start a new project, open an existing one, or save the one you are working on. Let's open up a new one. You will be asked to choose between a part, which is a single component, an assembly, which is an arrangement of different components, or a drawing, which is an engineering representation of your model. You might see them in this form, but they represent the same thing. Select Part. On the top, you have the Command Manager with various tabs. In SOLIDWORKS, we use sketches, such as a circle or a rectangle, to create features by adding or cutting away material. On the left, you have the Feature Manager, which is a history of all the sketches and features you created. Let's open up the part, which is provided as an example. Notice the sketches and features that were used to create this part. In the Heads Up toolbar, you can select one of the nine standard views, such as Front, Top, or Isometric. As a shortcut, you can press the spacebar and select the desired view. To customize the toolbar, right-click anywhere in the Command Manager and select from the available options. Notice how the new toolbar appeared on the left. To rotate your model, click and hold the middle button of the mouse or the scroll wheel. SOLIDWORKS also offers an integrated set of tutorials, which are a great way to help you familiarize yourself with the software. They can be found by clicking Help and SOLIDWORKS Tutorials. Before starting a new part, it is recommended to go to Options, Document Properties, and select the desired drafting standard. The most common ones are ANSI, which is used in US, and ISO used in Europe. They differ in the way dimensions and other symbols appear in engineering drawings of the model. By clicking Units, you can also select the unit system that you want to work in for the current part. Another way to change the units is from the graphics area in the bottom right. If you're working on multiple projects, you can go to Window to switch between them. You can also view two or more at the same time by choosing from these options.